Hi, let's talk about ribozyme. RNA acting as an enzyme is known as ribozyme. Or you can also say catalytic RNA is known as ribozyme. Now, always remember the statement. All the enzymes are made up of protein except ribozyme. So always remember ribozyme is the exception. All the enzymes are protein but ribozymes are the one made up of RNA. The unique ability of ribozyme to catalyze reaction occurs because of the presence of secondary structure of RNA. These secondary structures can catalyze its own catalysis or it can carry out catalysis of other RNA molecules. The discovery of ribozyme was an important breakthrough in the field of science and a Nobel Prize was given in the year 1989 for its discovery. Let's see a few examples of ribozyme. The first one on the list is hammerhead ribozyme. Now pay attention to this word hammerhead ribozyme. As the name suggests, this RNA molecule has a hammerhead like structure. The target or the substrate for this RNA is usually a single stranded RNA such as mRNA. The hammerhead RNA binds with the mRNA by hydrogen bonding. Once both are attached, the mRNA gets cleaved and it is released. The next example of ribozyme is the ribosomal RNA found in the ribosome. So in case of prokaryotes, it's the 23S rRNA which is present in the 50S subunit. And this 23S rRNA act as a ribozyme. While in case of eukaryotes, the 28S rRNA present in the 60S subunit act as a ribozyme. The function of these rRNA ribozyme is to catalyze peptide bond formation during protein synthesis on ribosome.